I believe that the biggest need and challenge for Holy Orthodoxy in the United States is to answer uh, and end our divisions. As long as we continue to live in these unorthodox jurisdictions, uh, we are trivializing ourselves in the face of the American nation and we are showing that we do not have the love that is sufficient, which is the love of Christ, for each other. We have uh, made no progress towards church unity. The state of the churches today, the Orthodox churches, in relationship to each other in America is far worse than when I converted almost 30 years ago. And it was already uh, going down from the 70s, which was uh, kind of a peak. I encounter this question of our divisions with our converts constantly. Many converts are simply turned away from once they find out that we are content to live apart from each other, that Orthodox believers uh, who hold the same faith uh, don't actually live together, pastorally speaking, uh, in a common diocese because there's multiple bishops in all of our cities, all of our major cities. This is a humongous uh, false witness. It's a, it's a witness to a faith that is not Orthodox. This is intolerable. This is an, an ecclesiolo ecclesiological intolerable reality. And it must be dealt with, in my opinion. I don't see uh, any uh, leadership on this front anywhere at all. And I think it's our biggest challenge. This is what we should be having conferences about. This is what we should be getting together to pray about and to think through how we can solve this problem. Everyone from uh, all of our, our holy patriarchs down to uh, the most simple lay person in the church knows that this is wrong and, and we're tolerating a tremendous evil. Now many would say that that's an exaggeration to call it a tremendous evil. Many would like to think it's just an outworking, an unfortunate outworking in human history. That is not what it is. Uh, it is a sin. It is a tremendous evil. And let me just give you an example of, of how it impacts us. The nearest church to myself is, uh, is a church of another jurisdiction, uh, which is only 15 minutes away. We love them. They love us. Uh, but because we're not in the same diocese, because we aren't following the orthodox pattern of ecclesiology, where you have one bishop in one city, uh, practically speaking, we can't live together. So, for instance, uh, a very revered elder passed away uh, some time ago, uh, an elder that I knew and that many of my parishioners knew. And yet, because we weren't in the same diocese, we weren't on the same email list, we weren't in the same prayer chain, and we never heard the news of the repose of this esteemed elder until two months after he had passed away. We were unable to pray for him in his hour of need. We were unable to be with him. And that is, if that's not an evil, I don't know what evil is. This is not, uh, this is not what our Savior means when he says that by this all men will know that you're my disciples, that you have love for one another. Bishops are meant to be symbols of unity of the Orthodox faith, and today our bishops have become symbols of disunity. They're marked out by uh, an adjective that goes next to the word Orthodox that describes the kind of Orthodox that they are, and this makes everyone in America who approaches us think that they don't belong to us. If we're going to add these kinds of adjectives and say, well, I'm Greek Orthodox, I'm Romanian Orthodox, I'm Serbian Orthodox, I'm Antiochian Orthodox, the more that we do that, what we're saying to people is, if you're not that, we're not for you. This is the initial message that they're getting. And uh, for us to use what, what should be, even now, simply internal language, for us to promote this and call ourselves these things uh, is a terrible, terrible mistake. And to pretend that Jesus' promises to build his church and to provide for her completely apply to jurisdictions instead of to the church corporately is a huge assumption that is unproven. When Jesus promises to give us all the gifts we need, all the grace we need, uh, all the leadership we need, he didn't make that promise to jurisdictions. He made that promise to the church, the church built and functioning in the way he commands. This is the reason that in our current experience, we have whole jurisdictions that have no monks and nuns. This is why we have whole jurisdictions that have no Episcopal candidates and have to take people from outside of their, their own ecclesial community to provide for this because Jesus made no promises to provide for us in this unnatural, uh, 
morphed, phony baloney ecclesiology. In my opinion, if we're going to explode, this is the orthodox moment in America. This is a time when they, the Latins who form 70 million uh, persons in this country are at a high state of desperation and, and need to find a refuge in holy orthodoxy. This is a time when uh, evangelicals are open to us uh, in, in unique ways. And this, these divisions are harming our missionary witness and keeping people from becoming Orthodox Christians. Uh, it's a great grief, and in my opinion, there's nothing as important as solving this.